soil erosion is where it all started for us with the cover crop. So uh, when I started farming, um, when I was 18, the, the first decision I made was to, to go to no-till because I was passionate about conservation and taking care of our, our resources. And it, it, it definitely helped our operation. Um, but over the years, you know, as we, even as we stuck with no-till, I was still seeing erosion, especially, you know, a, a warm spring day, if you still had frost in the ground, if you got a rain and, and you'd see it, you know, washing on some of the hillsides. And so when I started playing around with cover crops, it was really to cut down an erosion. It was that simple. Um, <clears throat> and it's made a big difference over the years. Um, you know, where we used to clean a few waterways every year, you know, or have to fix a few things in the field. I, I've got farms that we haven't fixed or managed waterways or anything like that for six, seven, eight years, you know. So it, it's not only have we cut down on the soil that's leaving the field, but we've even cut down on soil that's moving within the field. Um, and so, yeah, that's just a good feeling, right? And and I even like driving around when it's raining sometimes and, and watching where the water's moving in the fields, going full nerd. And, uh, and it's just, it's cool when you can walk to the bottom of the hill in the waterway and, and the water's clear running out of your field, right? And it's just good feeling to know the soil staying, staying in the field rather than leaving the field. So cover crops have made a huge difference in, uh, in the amount of erosion we see in the fields. So in the first few years of our farming operation, we had the drought of 2012 and we had some pretty catastrophic rainfall events in 2013 and 2014 uh, where we have literally hundreds of acres that were inundated with flood water as uh, rivers rose and um, water came over top of paved roads across farmland that we had and um, so we we saw a real need to go beyond just no-till and being active and holding our soil in place and having living roots in the ground as much of the year as we possibly could to hold that soil in place and give us an opportunity to retain nutrients, hold that soil, and to have good soil till, soil quality to plant our crops into. The switch in magnitude from the drought of 2012, a drought as a farmer or a rancher is something really difficult. After a storm event, you can go out, you can clean up, you can pick up the debris, you can move on. A drought, you just watch it every day watch your crops dry up, watch your pastures dry up, and then to switch really quickly from that to flood water just streaming across land uh, in, in certain areas that are near those waterways and, and rivers and streams, um, it's, just, it's just kind of shocking. It's kind of mind-boggling to see that transition um, and what can happen on the landscape on a farm. A, we, we mostly have flat ground here, so erosion really hasn't been very high on our list of concerns. However, uh, I was going through some of my grandfather's old slides and he has a whole ton of pictures of soil erosion, that very thing on these very fields. Back in the day when we were disking two and three times a year and field cultivating and leaving that soil exposed, uh, we had the sheet and, reel er sheet and reel erosion, of course, and then before we got real heavy into cover crops. I was out checking fence one day in October, November, and a cold front came sweeping through, and you could hear not only the corn residue blowing around, but underneath the, the what I call the big sound of the um, corn residue blowing, you could hear that fine of the soil moving as well. So, you know, it was kind of a false, um, false belief on my part that we didn't have soil erosion. We certainly, most certainly do have soil erosion, and it's real important to have it covered to keep that soil in place. Another basic tenet of farming is don't lose your soil. And I think, um, you know, cover crops really help us achieve that basic tenet. The increase of the heavy rainstorms were causing problems in the fields as far as erosion that we hadn't seen prior to that. So, you know, like 2007, um, there was a rainstorm that came through in August, which our fields are most protected in August. So had that been at a different time frame, it would have been much worse. But that was the first storm that I remember where we had seven to 14 inches of rain, depending on where you were in Southeast Minnesota. And it, and it really raised our eyebrows. and 
then they started to fall and come when our fields were vulnerable and including in 2013 we had just done a tillage pass on some prevent plant for weed control because remember we're back in the conventional mine frame then and a rainstorm come and it washed down the tracks just as deep as we tilled so we knew that at that point, what we were doing was going to cause more and more problems from, for our farms in far, as far as long-term productivity. And since then, you know, that's only gotten worse in my point of view. From what I've seen around, even last week, east of Stuartville, there was over four inches of rain that fell in a little over an hour, um, according to friends and local farmers in that area. And it's devastating what it did over there. So it's not going away. But if you look at the cover crops like out here in front of the house, it's going to be better protected from that. The gully washers, as we call them, that, that are just becoming more frequent. Mm -hmm.